Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward. You know this guy, Jake, and this is your weekly update. Make sure you share this on all your platforms so we can get the word out of what's going on. It seems like I say that every week, yes, Jake. Yes, you do. Uh, but hey, this is your announcements. This is what's happening going on. Uh, so make sure you share it. If you know somebody that doesn't get this, go ahead and send it to them. Uh, we'll have it on all of our platforms as well. Jake, what do we got going on? Uh, let's see, we got third Sundays this Sunday. Our, our women facing cancer together. They're not meeting in person uh, right now, but they're they're meeting and they're doing some stuff uh, virtually or and or they're still connecting. And so if you if you've wanted to plug into that, you need to get in touch with me so I can put you in touch with Sherry Sims. If you don't know Sherry's contact information, just email me, jake at summitheightsfellowship.com or fill out one of those communication cards at church. I'd love to be able to connect you with those groups of ladies. Also, a week from Sunday will be the fourth Sunday of the month and then we'll be offering our membership class. I know many of you have reached out and you're interested in that. Fill out those communication cards, email me, um, sign up for that. Uh, I've been communicating with many of you. I've sent out emails and text messages, made some phone calls. Hope to see you all in membership a week from Sunday. So really just our Wednesday nights, Kid Venture Kids, our Wednesday nights, Youth Ministry Kids, Sunday morning worship. Um, you know, just kind of stuff we have going on, Crouch. Hey, I do want to remind you, too, that there is a group now on Wednesday night. And if you're looking for a small group, you're looking for somewhere to kind of plug in, there's a new group we just launched last week. Uh, maybe you drop your kids off at youth or your children off at uh, Kid Venture. It'd be a great place for you to plug in. And uh, our own Kristen Walker, who heads up our preschool department, uh, we'll, we'll be leading that Maybe. and facilitating that. So if you're looking for that group, you want to figure out how to connect with that, you can connect with Jake and, and get plugged in because we really want you to be in a small group. The value of that is just, there's no words for, for that. So yeah. uh, big time there. Hey, I also want to, uh, you know that uh, David and Lauren Bright, that's our youth pastor and his wife. They're about to have their first baby. Yes, they are. Uh, it's going to be any day now, so you guys be praying for them. We're excited for them. This is their first baby, and uh, we always love to celebrate uh, things like that. And uh, their life's about to change, dude. I, I, it's going to be fun to watch that and uh, celebrate with them. Uh, I also wanted to mention that starting uh, in March, I'm going to start a new series, and our new series is going to be on the Sermon on the Mount. We're going to go through Jesus' greatest and longest sermons, and uh, so I'm excited to dive into that. It's going to be a 10-week series, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to walk through those passages in that. So starts first weekend in March. Uh, we'll take a week off for Easter, and we'll kind of celebrate the We're Easter We're not going to meet story. on Easter? No, that series. We're going to oh. meet on Easter. Uh, so just to, just to give you a little bit of heads up of where we're going in March and April, and uh, really excited to, to dive into the Sermon on the Mount. And also I wanted to mention, I know last week some of you guys uh, sent, sent some emails emails about the uh, sermon last week and something that was said in the sermon uh, that may have been a little bit confusion. Uh, and I wanted to encourage you, we posted a video on Tuesday uh, to hopefully provide some clarity. We've heard from many of you who have watched that and it's, uh, we appreciate your feedback. But if for some reason you did not uh, get that or you don't have Facebook or uh, YouTube or something like that, Make sure you go and look at that if you're interested, uh, just to clarify uh, just that statement that was in the sermon last week. Uh, we'll also be mentioning this Sunday morning from the platform, uh, but we want you guys to, to know that, hey, there is some clarity and context around that. So, Hey, I want a, a little spoiler alert here. You know, I shared my story a couple weeks ago, how I, you know, made some really bad decisions and, you know, I needed Jesus. Well, this Sunday, the person that is sharing their story, you I'm not going to tell them. I'll tell them. Come no, on. Let me, I, 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 you need to be here this Sunday because you're going to hear a story. It's going to blow your mind because coming to Jesus as a good person and then kind of losing your focus in your identity in Christ and then what that looks like, It's it's it may be unlike anything you've ever heard, but it's an awesome, awesome 
awesome testimony. You need to be there Sunday or be watching online. Yeah, and it's just a great thing to realize that you can walk with God and there can have these periods in your life where you do lose focus, but that doesn't mean you're out of fellowship with God necessarily if your salvation goes. Mm -hmm. And so it's really important to hear these stories of how God has wooed people back uh, that that just kind of got well, I think losing. I think sometimes we forget who we are in Christ. Yeah. And when we lose the idea of our identity in Christ, the enemy can sneak in and use that. And that's this person's story. And man, it's awesome. Yeah. So don't miss this Sunday. Bring somebody with you. Uh, make sure you share this on your platforms. If you're still at home watching online, or maybe you're on vacation, or maybe you're on a boat somewhere, I don't know. Um, or, or, or visiting the Greens and her 18 children. Yeah, true, true, true. Uh, or Miss Bass and all of her um, areas. So anyway, <clears throat> make sure that uh, you're watching this. Invite somebody to watch it with you. Bring somebody Sunday at church, 10 o'clock Sunday morning. Make sure you're here. We love you. Cannot wait to see you. And uh, we'll see you Sunday morning.